This lesson is on simplifying or reducing fractions. My method of simplifying fractions is a little more step-by-step -step than most, but I find that students tend to work through the process and get the right answer more frequently this way than just thinking abstractly in their minds. So this is what I ask students to do. If I have the fraction 4 tenths and I need it to be simplified, the first question I ask is which number in the fraction is the smallest? 4 is smaller than 10, so 4 is the number I need to start with. I draw a bar out to the side and I begin listing my factors for 4. Factors are the numbers that we multiply to get the answer 4. So one factor for 4 is 4 times 1. The other factor for 4 is 2 times 2. Then out of my factors, I look and find the biggest number out of my factors. The biggest number on top is 4. Then I ask, is there anything times 4 that will give me 10? Nothing times 4 will give me 10, so I check it off and move to the next biggest number. That's 2. Is there anything times 2 that will give me 10? Yes. 2 times 5 gives me 10. So I line up my multiplication symbols and line up my numbers. Then I lose what's the same and keep what's different. So my new simplified fraction is 2 fifths. Let's do another example. If I have 3 fifths, some students can look at that and know that it does not need to be simplified, but most need to check their work. So we still go through the steps. 3 is my smaller number, so I will start with 3. I will list my factors for 3. 3 times 1. That's the only factor for 3. So now I find my biggest number. 3 is my biggest number out of my factors. So I say, is there anything times 3 that will give me 5? No. So I check it off and move to the next biggest number. The next biggest number is 1. Is there anything times 1 that will give me 5? Yes. 1 times 5. I've lined up my numbers that are the same, and then I have my numbers that are different. Lose what's the same, keep what's different. So now I have checked to make sure that 3 fifths is in simplest form. Let's do one other example. If I have 4 twelfths, I'm going to ask, which number is the smallest number? 4 is my smaller number, so I start with 4. I list my factors for 4. 4 times 1 and 2 times 2. Then I find my biggest number on the top. My biggest number is 4. Then I ask, is there anything times 4 that will give me 12? Yes. 4 times 3 gives me 12. I've lined up my 4 and my times. I lose what's the same and keep what's different. So 1 third is my simplified 4 twelfths.